Hi everyone, here's my backyard golf practice area. In this video, I'll give you some details about the net, the mat, and the ball tray and how I put it all together. I'll go over some of the limitations as well as the benefits of having a setup like this. Stay tuned. I'm a guy who likes to hit balls at the driving range, but as golfers know, the cost at a driving range can add up. So I decided to set up a practice station at home. The initial cost of the equipment was expensive. I spent about $600 for the setup. Was it worth the investment? Well, I think so because number one, I don't have to deal with the hassle of driving to the range. Number two, I save a lot of time. Number three, I can hit as many balls as I want to build muscle memory. Number four, I have the freedom to videotape and analyze my swing and customize my practice station. And number five, over time it will save me money. The only disadvantage is I can't see the flight of the ball. So as I see it, it's definitely worth setting up your own practice area. Let's now take a look at each part of my practice station. This golf net is called the Hacknet Pro with spider steel netting. And there you see the carry bag. The netting is very durable. I haven't had any problems with it so far. And I've had it outside here for about three months now. As you can see, there's an enclosure that's created because it's about two feet deep at the very top and it's about three feet deep here at the bottom. So it creates an enclosure um, with the frame. So here at the top, you see that the net attaches in the front and in the back. And then there's this, there's this fiberglass post that goes down to the base and then it attaches down here at the bottom as well. So if I go to the back, here you can see that the netting and the frame create this enclosure. So if you hit the ball a little bit off center, it's not gonna be bounding off to the side. It's gonna be staying inside the enclosure. And there you see the fiberglass posts on either side, how they're bending in. I haven't had any problems with, um, you know, balls that are a little off center uh, getting away from me because they all stay within the net. So um, it's a pretty good design. Of course, you can move your uh, netting closer or further away from you depending on how, you know, how wide you're hitting your shots. This mat is called the Country Club Elite Golf Mat that I picked up online at Costco. This is a driving range quality uh, mat, so it's really nice. I have it paired up with this premium golf ball tray. The golf ball tray has a lip. Let me lift this up, as you can see. So when it sits under the mat, and let's take a look at the bottom of the mat, which is rubber, it stays in place. The combination of this golf ball tray and the mat really make you feel like you're hitting balls at the driving range. Now you'll notice that I have these pavers at the corners and the reason for that is because as I'm hitting golf balls, the mat does move. So I'm constantly having to realign it. Um, that's why I have the, the pavers there to keep it in place. Now I imagine if you put this on top of concrete or a different surface, it'll probably stay in place. Last but not least are the golf balls. I use these Kirkland golf balls from Costco, perfect for practice. And I have them in this old uh, shag bag. So they'll go into the golf ball tray and I'll hit them into the net. Now, usually they will um, go into the net and come out onto the turf here, or they'll stay in the net. And then when I'm done with the balls, I'll just go back out with my uh, shag bag, pick them all up and refill the tray. So there you have it, my backyard golf practice station. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks so much for watching.